Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Lillian coming with another video. Today I'm going to be talking about my natural hair journey. I'm going to be going from when I was a toddler to now. Um, just so you know, before we get into the video, I am wearing a wig right now. I have on a made um, wig or whatever in the style Jupiter. I just want to let you know because right now I am doing my protective styling. And if I brush my hair, you know, that's what you got to brush your hair when you got wigs. We be moving around and stuff like that. So I just want you to know that that's what we're wearing right now. I did not cut no bangs into my hair or nothing like that. I feel like it's kind of obvious that I'm wearing a wig. But some people might ask me, are you, what's going on? And I just want to let you know that we are wearing a wig. We are in protective season. We are in hermit mode with our hair. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my natural hair journey. So starting from jump, okay. And I'm going to be inserting, hold on ipad okay so starting from jump and i'm i am going to be looking down on my ipad or whatever because i already have the pictures that i'm going to be posting onto the video i'll be putting them here or here wherever i can put them um just so you know but anyway without further ado let's get into the video for real this time for real for real okay from jump i always had hair I always had some hair um my grandma used to do my hair and my mom did my hair um uh, we used to keep it in plaits braids we used to grease that scalp uh my grandmother told me that i had what we call growing dandruff i don't know the scientific um i don't know all that stuff but i do know <laughs> that she said it's like your hair grow and make your hair grow i don't know i don't know i don't know but i have dandruff and i have very bad dandruff so that's why a lot of the things that i do which include my grease it's about keeping that dandruff at bay my hair do itch a little bit so yeah, I've always had that growing dandruff. So she used to scratch my scalp all the time. And I feel like that's stimulating, you know, hair growth because she would scratch my scalp really, really good um, before we washed it. My mom was doing my hair like all the time, like growing up into my teens. We started, we used to go get my hair done, but we stopped doing that because, you know, I think she, I may have had a relaxer. I don't know. I think I had a relaxer and then my mom grew my relaxer out because I really didn't need it. And then and, you know we would go get my hair done and they would say I need a relaxer to do the style like a like a roller set or anything like that they didn't want to you know that was before the natural hair was really like a big thing or whatever and so they really wanted me to have a relaxer my mom did not want me to have one so we stopped going I remember at one point she did have to cut my hair um to like right here um and then I started really really yeah I can see this picture right here I was really out here flattering my own hair greasing it like putting grease on my hair and because it wouldn't stay sleek and so i thought that if i put grease on my hair and flat iron it it would it, it was just a mess it was a mess and i had heat damage and my mom had to cut my hair i was able to grow it as you can see in this picture when i was in band i was able to grow my hair start growing it out um so yeah let me swipe, swipe, swipe. We're looking for pictures. So, yeah, I was able to get my hair long, but then I had my grandmother, um, I had her to cut me some bangs. Okay, I had her cut me some bangs or whatever, and let's not talk about it. <laughs> let's not talk about it, okay? We don't want to talk about it. But I was able to grow my hair. And that I think that was the longest my hair had gotten after you know dealing with uh me doing my hair all right so let's fast forward i go to college because my hair was this it was long with the bangs so that picture like that's how long my hair was okay and so that's how we carried our length over to college when we got to college um i was getting sew ins um and then i decided to bleach my hair and i was not taking care of my hair and i was also not taking my iron so my hair broke off girl it broke off it broke off Okay, it was not in agreement with me. So, only picture I have from when I was wearing my hair bleached was this picture. And and I got that off of YouTube. <laughs> yeah. So, that is what my hair was looking like. I started taking care of my hair by just wearing it. Like, going back to, going back to the grease, baby. Going back to the grease. We started just wearing our hair protective style. And then that's when I started doing wig refuse. So that's when I was doing it. Also, I lost weight. I lost weight too. But anyway, so um, 
yeah girl let me tell you so i started wearing my hair braided i started wearing my hair in buns ponytails um and my natural curls came back or whatever but my natural curl pattern is not the same throughout my hair but it did come back and my grandma finally just cut all of the um she cut all of the the the, the processed hair out of my head and so that's what we have in this picture july 2017 that's right when i had graduated college or whatever um she had just cut off all of it and was like it's gonna grow back baby but we don't need to keep that old energy on that hair we got snip snip it just it was bothering her it wasn't bothering me after that all right i started watching curly proverbs a sister with uh long hair i was watching them on youtube and glam twins and i was getting my hair together so officially the the hair journey for me to be at this length right now started 2017 and it is now 2021 going into 2022 okay so uh from there i was doing henna i was doing my grease and i was doing that hair growth oil that curly proverbs talked about um and that's what i was using to grow my hair and i kept my hair um i kept my hair i don't want to say i always kept it in protective styling i think that after a while i stopped doing protective styling and i just opted to go um flat iron it and just keep it wrapped up and that's what i did um at some point i did do buns i did buns but for the most part i was able to grow my hair from about shoulder length upper shoulder length um down my back um i would credit the grow oils greenhouse method all of that to grow my hair i feel like you have to have a tight regimen also the supplements you have to have consistency and you have to have a really good strong routine both of my parents are black um my mom had hair my grandma got hair um but i will say on my dad's side the hair is they have it but it's a little more uh low density but my mom her hair is more thicker her hair is more thicker and i say all of this to say that you know some people believe that hair growth is based on genetics um they believe that that's how you know what you what you have in your family is what you gonna have um uh you know that's what people believe i don't necessarily carry those same beliefs i believe that if you have a strong regimen all right your hair will grow you have to find out what works for your hair but you have to be consistent you can't just try something for a week and expect to see results it takes time it does take time but if you are consistent you will see results that you want i wanted to put this video on youtube and it's been a long time coming mainly because i glue up girl i glue 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 glowed up girl and so um i don't like looking at old pictures but i mean i feel like it's something like it would be inspirational to other people to see you know where people come from people don't always have long hair maybe you do maybe you don't but a lot of people that are looking to grow their hair obviously are at a point where they're not, they, they they're trying to get to somewhere and so it would be helpful for people to see well where did you come from with your journey and then how did you get there you know as opposed to you telling me um oh this works for me you need to go try it no this is something that i use i use my grease and i will fight you for this grease because it works for me i'm a firm believer in if it's not broke don't fix it we don't have nothing to fix because it ain't broke it works just fine it's it it's it's fine it's honestly fine we don't need to do anything extra with all of that being said i hope you enjoyed this video my mouth is a little parched a little dry um but i hope you enjoyed this video i hope that you were able to find it helpful i hope that this changes your perspective on hair growth in some type of way um let me know what are your hair secrets or if there's anything else you would like to know um that i could provide girl let me know let me know anyway go ahead like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any future uploads bye